Let's see. Let's revisit that again. Exactly. I feel like it's almost criminal. Like you're robbing people of their last moments on Earth. You should be able to savor the experience, not sleep your way to death. Do you feel guilty about your job? Savor with a you. <laughs> I'm not saying anyone should be happy about dying. I've seen lots of people die and it's a special moment. There's literally nothing else like it. That was creepy. She she calls people's deaths a special moment and she talks about deadly combinations. Special you called death a special moment? No, I don't like it. I feel lucky to share that moment with them. To be there with them when it happens. You know what I mean. Do you seek death? I'd really like to be able to answer you. Alright. Uh, you have a locket? I don't know. You have a locket? I typed it wrong. I feel really bad I can't answer your questions. Um... I like animals. Let's talk about that. Okay, what animals do you like? I love animals, especially cats. I think everyone is either a cat person or a dog person. What are you, Doctor? Oh my god. The... Oh no, that's terrifying. So they're random que they're randomized... They're seemingly innocuous responses they make to the, like, that are essentially error messages might be clues about what to ask, too. So that's another thing to consider. Okay. I vastly prefer dogs. Dogs. I can't spell it correctly. <laughs> Dr. Decker was a dog person. Maybe it's a therapist thing. Okay, then tell me about Dr. Decker, since we're naturally transitioning to that. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. Your problems? I started seeing Dr. Decker a few months ago. I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. It's funny, I've talked about her job and stuff like that so much, I haven't actually engaged in what her condition or whatnot could be. So she blacks out and wakes up on the beach. He... He repeats days. He has midnight stretch for an hour. And she goes into violent rages, apparently. We don't know what Ellen does necessarily, although she might she seems to have a interest with death, which is interesting. I started seeing Dr. Decker a few months ago. I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. Your work is stressful. It can be sad sometimes. I don't like losing a patient, but that's the job. I don't get stressed about it or anything. You don't get you just you just said you get stressed. Why do you lie to me? It's not the job that stresses me. It's the people I work with, the other nurses. They're mean to me. They're mean to you. They call me the Angel of Death, because so many patients have died on my shift. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. So there we are, huh? So that's her thing. This Angel of Death thing is probably the whole reason she's in here, just like how everyone else has, like, something supernatural going on about them. Seems like she has a... Maybe a connection with death. 
Assuming it's something supernatural-ish like everyone else's weird explanations. Maybe she just maybe she's just poisoning people. <laughs> Angel of Death. They're old. People die when they're old. I mean, medically speaking, it's heart failure or organ failure or pneumonia. They're all natural causes though. Have you killed anyone? I'm really bad at this, aren't I? <laughs> Ask me something else. That is a way too aloof response to that, but of course it's because the game didn't really know what I asked. They call me the Angel of Death. Why do you think they die on your shifts? I'd really like to- They die on your shift. Okay. They call me the Angel of Death because so many patients have died on my shift. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. Does it bother you? No. Okay. What do you know about Dr. Decker's death, Miss Angel of Death? I don't know. Sorry. Did you know Doc uh, Decker? Uh, I'd been seeing him for about nine months, I think. All right. Did Decker have a diagnosis? Prognosis? No. All right. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding or worse. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. How was Decker different? He was a bit offbeat, but yeah, I liked him. But then I liked most people. Let's see here. Tell me about the other nurses. No. I need to follow up on the whole mean to you thing. How do I follow up on the witnessing? They call you names? Have you told them to stop? I don't know. I feel like I'm the weakest link or something. Goodbye. They call me the Angel of Death because so many patients have died on my shift. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. It's so... I feel like I've already covered it, but let's try the exact phrase. So many patients have died. Three last month. Three the month before that, I think. But only one so far this month, so that's good. Although, one of my patients, Hilda, I don't think she's got long. There's something eerie about how they almost vanish. Hilda? No. Sorry. Hil Hilda? I don't, I don't know if there was an E or an A at the end. She's one of the crotchety ones. Always swearing and spitting at me. Never got anything nice to say. Thinks we're going to smother her in her sleep or something. She doesn't bother me, though. Okay. That seems to be a dead end, then, the Hilda conversation. Let's go back to the beginning. I'm Elin. I'm 25, and I'm a nurse. 
God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. Oh. You're not married, but you watch dating shows. Dating shows? Really? Okay. I'm Elin. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. You're young. I haven't really got anything to say. But I would try that. Okay. Do you have any questions? I don't know. Dang it. Alright, I might need to take my first hint on this one. Check my notes. Oh, right. I never actually told her about Terry. Uh, Terry called for you. Terry's one of the other nurses at the home. I don't think she likes me very much. How did Terry... Oops. No. Let's see. Did it go... Wait, did it go away? If my patients seem confused, they're probably asking them that they have more than one answer to. Use yes or no in answering questions, verbal mirroring, blackouts, injuries, speech. So this is still here then. Yeah, so none of the notes go away. Tell me about Terry then. No? Weird. Huh. Do you know Jaya? I'm really bad at this, aren't I? Is Jaya a person or like some kind of turn of phrase I don't know about? Is Jaya my... I don't know if that was my the name of my secretary or not. We've completed the act. We're at fifteen percent progress to this particular place. There's a. P <laughs> we're like not. We're like maybe sixty percent of the way through the actual responses, though. So now comes the question of whether I should farm for responses by uh, going for hints and try to get completionist on the responses, or if I should just move forward naturally. Maybe I shouldn't move. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm going to make a rule. This game has multiple endings after all, right? So I'm going to investigate as far as I can naturally. And then if I'm stuck and can't get them to the yellow territory so they can actually move forward, then I'll use hints because I need to beat the game. I can't just not beat the game. But if I can't get further than that without hints, I think I'll stop taking hints. I think that's how I'm going to I'm gonna approach this game. And then I'll end up with whatever ending, ending I get up to naturally. And if you guys want to try, you can play it yourself and get different endings. Because I think there's a whole bunch of endings and it's, a and it's not exactly a short playthrough. So I'm probably not going to farm out the, sev the several different endings. I think there's actually, might, there might be a lot of them. I don't think there's just like two or three even. Uh... Vague suggestions, though, because I I'm, I go through the stuff as spoiler free as possible generally, so I don't know for sure. But I think there I think there might be a number of them. But yeah, I think that's going to be the rule I proceed with. Is I'll I'll keep going just and do whatever questions and answers I can on my own without any hints. And then if I can't get them to yellow because I need that to continue the game at all, then I'll use hints if I'm truly stuck. But then I think from then on we will continue on naturally and it might be time for that it might be time to take things where they go are you afraid of death no death doesn't scare me it's probably because i've been around it so much but i haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear i don't think death is an end i think it's a doorway to another place i'm just not sure where where do you think we go when we die, Doctor? Caps lock? Valhalla. I don't really know what that is. 
uh, something to do with Vikings, isn't it? <laughs> I thought I'd have some fun with that. Okay. Doorway to... You think death is a doorway to somewhere else? No. Sorry. You lied to me. No. <laughs> I know it's one of the random ones. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do... Arrogant doctors? Well, yes, that's true. <laughs> but still, it was nice to be listened to. Okay, I don't know what she thought I said. <laughs> that was a... Uh, I'm not sure what was going on there. <laughs> Valhalla has follow-up on? Yes. Valhalla is a vi viking thing. I don't really know what that is. Uh, something to do with vikings, isn't it? Yes. Valhalla is an afterlife. When someone says afterlife, it just makes me think of wispy figures floating around in a white haze. Like you get in those New Age posters. I don't really go for all that. What do you believe? No. Alright. That's all we get then. I made a little bit more progress. It might be time to stop. Let's see, let's ask people where they work. Where do you... work? Oops. I was trying to copy-paste. There we go. I don't work. I don't need to. Everything's paid for a hundred times over. Don't need to work. I don't have anything to say about that. Alright. Yeah, it's just a general, like, she's rich, I guess. You are... I mean, we already know about where you work, right? And then Nathan. I don't have anything to say. Mariana. I do I know how where you work, actually? Oh, you sell things. Right, I remember, the, I remember that now. It's worth a shot. Just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything else there on that obvious question. That might be a thing to do, is whenever I think I have a question they might all be able to answer, maybe I should copy-paste it between all of them. Like, if I had been like, what, like, who are you? And then copy-paste that to each of them, I would have had a starting point for all of them. And that'd be a starting point. That's the juggling thing, is how, how much should I focus on one patient versus jumping around. It's interesting. I imagine that this is a game that, despite the uh, clear kind of goal going on, I think people may play this wildly differently from person to person as they try to figure out how to interact with it. That's interesting. Trippy how the couch jumps around. That's weird. Is it always in the same spots? I think it is, yeah. Huh. So the couch jumps around every time he's changed camera angles, or changed people, but it's always the same spot for that camera. That, that character. So they, they must have had a fixed camera where that person did like several different idle animations. Is that a foot... ...ball? I... can't... Stress ball? What? <laughs> Trying to ask about what they're holding. Because I've actually picked up on it, like, the, the camera in particular was something that somebody noticed. It's interesting. Alright, well I'm intrigued. This game has some kind of developing mystery in the background and I may or may not fail or succeed with these people and I don't know where it's going to go. And now it's time to have an act progress and see what that entails. I'll be happy to see this through. Oh, Doctor. Glad I caught you. I thought you might want to hear what Ben had to say. Quick catch up. Oh. 
So at the end of the act, I talked to Jaya specifically. What did Ben have to say? I'm not sure Ben will be coming in for a while. He's still pretty shook up about finding the body. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often in the line of work he's in. Anyway, he said he found the body at exactly 20 minutes past 10. For some reason, the first thing he did was look at his watch. That's all he'd say before he'd shut down. And the police weren't very talkative either. Okay, so Jaya is definitely her name then. Okay. His watch. Yes. Ben found Dr. Decker's body on Valentine's night in his office. In your office. He died here. Hmm. I don't know anything about... The police? The police wanted to know what I was doing Valentine's night, you know, when the body was found. I was at home. All on my lonesome. So I guess that makes me a suspect. They didn't buy your alibi. It's good that you're asking lots of questions. I'm just not sure you're asking the right ones. Alone on Valentine's? Yes, you know. The 14th of February, the day of love, or remembering a massacre, whichever's more you. <laughs> Which, whichever's more you. This game has a sense of humor, which is kind of fun. Okay. What's this thing saying here? Dr. Decker was killed on Valentine's Day. I should ask the patients where they were that day. Can't do that right now, though. Is Ben okay? Okay, let's, let's go back then. I'm not sure Ben will be coming in for a while. He's still pretty shook up about finding the body. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often in the line of work he's in. Anyway, he said he found the body at exactly 20 minutes past 10. For some reason, the first thing he did was look at his watch. That's all he'd say before he'd shut down. The police weren't very talkative either. All right, let's check in on the whole 10... Oh, the numbers look weird in this. This whole 1020 thing. I don't know what Dr. Decker was doing here. And my services weren't required that evening. He'd often stay late, though, so it wasn't that unusual. Okay, then what do you do? Sorry, that... What is your job, I ask? Insanely. I can't answer. <laughs> I can't answer that. Alright. So Ben wasn't one of the people we had earlier, was he? So what is Ben's job? I don't know, Doctor. Sorry. Line of work? Sorry. Didn't you know? Ben's one of the night shift cleaners. I'm sure he's got some tales he could tell. Oh, so Ben's not a psych... Ben's not a... a uh, ben is not one of our um, clients. He's a worker here. Okay. The police is our main focus right now, isn't it? Uh, let's ask about De Dr. De Decker, though. Like, how well did you know Decker? I wouldn't say we were best friends, but we did spend a lot of time together. There's only two of us that work here. I'm sure we'll become friends too, Doctor. Just try not to get murdered. What do you know about the murder? He was stabbed, so that's quite a personal thing to do. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of the patients who had a problem with the treatment they were getting. That's fun. Now we get to worry about whether or not we're going to get killed by one of our patients. Is this still adding up towards the 200 total, or is this something different? Oh, this is different. This is out of 17. Interesting. So it's a much smaller overall list of things to do here. And this is apparently called an act of its own. This 
Micro Conversations Doctor, your curious nature will see you through. They're talking. Good job. We're detective rating house officer. There's some amusing things here. How many of these are there anyway? 100 keywords revealed, house officer. Movie length, two hours played. Yeah, I have played for two, two hours now. 250 guesses made. There's so many guesses to do if you want to. Zero hints used. 101 hints used. Hinty aftertaste. I never got the achievement for one hint used. Uh, guess what? I used... I definitely used a, a hint. Hit me, baby, one more time. 201 hints used? That's insane. Weird. And they're all kind of a Steam achievements, but that's a game achievement. Apparently that's not a Steam achievement. Weird distinction. 25 hours played. Can you play this game? For, I guess multiple playthroughs to get different endings and outcomes and stuff. I assume would be how that would go. Let's see. The police wanted to know what I was doing Valentine's night. You know, when the body was found. I was at home. All the police see you as a suspect. I think the police want you to make a short list of suspects or maybe even find the killer. You're seeing all the patients that were on the books when he was killed. There was no forced entry, so they think it might be someone he knew, or someone who had access to the office. Yeah, like little old me. Do you think I'm a suspect, Doctor? Didn't you already say that? What about patient confidentiality? Sorry, Doctor, I can't help you there. Conflict of interest. That's a good question. I just wish I knew the answer. Nope, they don't got nothing for me. Okay. Uh, did you see the body? Is he went to his watch? I'm not sure why they thought that's what I went meant, but okay. I think the police want you to make a short list of suspects, or maybe even find the killer. Yes, you are probably a suspect. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. I suppose everyone's a suspect at the moment, even you. They did mention I needed grief counselling, though, and I said you'd sort me out. I know you didn't agree, but I thought I'd let you know. <laughs> That's very kind of you. And how does that make you feel? I'd like to help, but I don't know anything about that. That was a joke about the idea of us being counsel uh, counselor and such, uh, and a uh, client now. He was stabbed, so that's quite... You think it was personal? I wasn't really in his social circle, so I don't know if he had any friends. In terms of enemies, I heard things get heated in his office sometimes, but I won't name any names. Heated? Won't name any names, it's kind of not the time for that. Hmm, I... Won't name any names. Susan, Annabelle, Melissa, there are some names, but they're not names of anyone I know. Well, now you're just messing with me. <laughs> wow, I'm really running out of asterisks here. I mean, it's not a big list, but I might be depleting a lot of them. 12 out of 16, pretty close. What could I be missing, though? He was stabbed, so that's quite a personal thing to do. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of the patients who had a problem with the treatment they were getting. You think the patients have a problem? I had too many spaces there, I'm worried about that. A problem with their treatment. I'm just surmising. If you're unhappy enough to kill your therapist, they're probably not doing a very good job. It's, uh... You're not completely wrong. 
What's your favorite color? <laughs> Sorry, that doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> uh, how well do you know the patients? Nope. Who do you think di killed Dr. Dicker? Largo the gurgle the purgle the furgle the. That's a good question. I just wish I knew the answer. Cheat code. How do I turn this on? I'd like to help, but I don't know anything about that. Well, that didn't work. All right. Do, do, do. He's trying to even out the cushions that never quite fit together correctly. That's funny. It may be time to go on. Yep. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of ideas. We even have a dead end here. Who are you? <laughs> I don't know, Doctor. That's a fantastic response. Yeah, I feel like my standard questions are all depleted, and for the first time ever, I actually don't have any asterisks to follow up on on the entire screen, so I guess it's time to find out what the next act is. I'm having a loop day. Oh, we're back with Nathan. Curious. So it seems like it might be that we start off with each individual, uh, we start off with the ability to ask all of them questions, but it seems like we then deal with them individually after that. That'll be interesting to see how that turns out. Responses found at six? Okay. There might be like some micro chapters from here on out. Okay. I thought it was going to be a very static, like, here's five patients, and then time goes forward, five patients, and so on. But this could actually have a branching thing going on. This could be interesting.